guys welcome back okay so <coughs> excuse me from little horse we have spent the last hour and a half looking for molly <coughs> excuse me <coughs> in the dark hollering for her because they ran up the hill little girl did after something in anyway so i wanted to just do a quick <coughs> quick little project um the first thing I did is, is this is, let me see, this one is from Digital Magpie, and it's called French Journal Sheet Music, and then I printed on the back of it from Len Art Studio, it's called Dragonfly and Roses, so I'll have to remember to bring that upstairs with me. <laughs> All right, so what I did on here, um, I don't remember. Anyway, um, shoot, hold on, oh my gosh, oh, let me look at my cheat sheet, I know I did one a minute ago, well not a minute ago, a while ago before we <clears throat> went on our adventure, John is horse as can be, <coughs> so am I, but oh, that stinking Molly, okay, so I'm going to fold this in half. I'm just always so afraid that the coyotes are going to get her. And then we're going to trim on the very edge. And then we're going to trim up top. <coughs> Should grab some water. I mean, John can barely speak. He even took, went and came, got the farm truck, turned the lights on, and went down there. And, uh, what you know, he was like, that's going to scare her even more. Well, stupid dog. <laughs> anyway, all right, so let me get my scoreboard over here. And then I am going to, let me see. I know, where's my, my ruler? Oh, my gosh. It's buried. It's underneath here. Oh, I have a headache, y'all. Stupid dog. Oh, my gosh. I mean, she's just a short little porker. And, I mean, she wouldn't make it at all. And it would be a sad, sad, sad thing if I had to find her. All right, so I'm scoring... Not quite one and a half. Oh my gosh. I know, sorry. Like I said, I was all ready to, to get this done. And you know, <sighs> then we went our roundabout play about. Okay, so I'm going to score this at one and a half. Oh shoot. At one and a half. Not too hard, Candace. Not too hard. And um, we want... The we want this side to be on the bottom, and then we're going to flip it around and score this at one and a half. Now, I can't tell if my paper is uneven or if it's just, but we'll see when we when we fold and score it. <clears throat> so, all I'm going to do is fold this side in and this side in and we're, we will have, let me make sure when I fold it, that everybody's even. And yes, it's it's even enough. And how much does it, how much does it weigh? It measures, you know, okay, so I'm going to be good. So we're going to just take, and um, I do remember this was one and a quarter. Oh, man, I tell you. You know, animals. Oh, Lord. And then my daughter-in-law shared a picture on Facebook that um, how the product shortage for baby formula is. I mean, she showed a picture of the store shelves with hardly anything on there. I mean, people, America, get with the program. 
I mean, how the heck are you supposed to feed your, your children and everything else? I mean, my gosh. So I'm just going to put a little book page on here to reinforce the back. <clears throat> Even though I printed it on 32-pound paper, I'd feel just a little bit better if we reinforced it. So before we reinforce it, though, let me go ahead and, and lightly ink around there. Oh, I've got just a mess. Like I said, John came in here holler. I can't find her. She's not coming back. I'm like, oh, my God. And it's so dark out here. You cannot see. <clears throat> oh, I didn't even tell y'all. I hope you had a good. You're having a good day. I know this is going to be a, a short and sweet little thing, but this is a quick and easy product project too. Product. Yeah, baby food, baby formula. Oh my gosh. But I mean, come on, people. I mean, don't even make me go look at the back of baby formula and see that that's made in, in stinking China, too. America, you need to make some products. There is no need for that. Oh. All right, so did I do top and bottoms? I don't know. It looks like I did, but I can't remember. I was running my mouth. All right, let's. Oh, yeah, I hope I've been in, in frame. Okay, so let's get our little glue out. I know I have a headache because <laughs> that dog maybe be out there with all the weeds hollering and breathing. <laughs> oh gosh, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have all these coyotes and stuff, but oh, that ding dong. All right, so let's just put some back here. So we can reinforce it. Because we're going to be tucking stuff in and out of here, you know. And I got a little straggler, so let's just take care of that right now. Alright. And then we'll stick this other piece of book page on the back. <coughs> oh my gosh. Whoops. <laughs> well, that wasn't good. There's no point in putting a reinforcer back there if you're not going to have glue on it. <laughs> oh, let me just hang this upside down just in case. I mean, you're not going to see it back there. But here, I'll even squish it from this side with Betsy. That's probably not even a girl. Well, that's okay. It's a baby cow. So, he's so cute, though. Got fuzzy, fuzzy everything. Okay. And so now we're going to just glue there and hold down for a minute. Oops. I might have got a little overzealous with the... But isn't that paper pretty together? I know it's upside down, but anyway. We'll twirl it around in just a minute. Boop. There you go. Now, isn't that some pretty paper? <laughs> oh. And then we will sew this into a journal. So you'll have a... Oh, I got paper over here. You'll have a little tuck spot on this side. You'll have a tuck spot on this side. And all we did was use one piece of paper. 
and then when it's going to be sewn in, you'll have journaling spot on this side because it's lined and journaling spot on that side. So that's a quick and easy double-sided pocket if you're making something small or need just a small insert because, you know, just because your um, journal is eight and a half by 11 doesn't mean you have to have that size paper and then you can always make it whatever size you want. Okay, so now my next thing that I was playing with is this page from Digital Magpie. Um, it's French Journal Pockets. Um, she's got some really pretty things. So we have that. Now, my thing with, with these is, you know, when you cut them out, I've already, you know, I cut one out, so I'm just going to use these two. So I just cut them out. You know, it says glue here because you're supposed to fold it there, and then you have your pocket, but then you always lose, you know, the best side of the of the thing. So I'm like, well, we're going to make something different. So here's these two, and all I did was... I cut this because this was this other one. Oh, actually it went this way. So this was this one. So I cut it down. And then this is the hole is one and a half inch. And then I just folded these in, did little angles, and put a little uh, tab on top. And then this is going to go in there and we'll glue it you know, right at the edges of those, so it will be on on a page, and it will come in and out, and then we'll decorate it whenever, <coughs> excuse me, we put it where we're going to put it. So, if you don't want to lose the pretty design that they have on there, just cut it where the line is, and then, okay. Now, it's easier to do this first, so that way you know how much to cut off of here. So, I put my scoreboard back over here, so let me get my little scoreboard. Let me put my glue up before it dries, because we're not going to really need it. Oh, yeah, we will with the tabs. Anyway, so, oh, gosh. All right, so then just score on the side here. And then... You know, you don't have to turn around, but since I'm a left-handed lefty, I got to turn my stuff around so I can do it. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and punch our hole out. And you'll have a little bit of white showing, but, um, see, but after you ink around it, then it will be fine. And then you just go ahead and take this and cut your little angles. On your, on this, which is going to be your tab, <coughs> and then we're going to fold these over. And we'll just, you don't have to, you know, crease it down, but, and then I just took my little ruler and drew a line on here with a pencil so I know to glue, because um, I sure be gluing in the wrong spot. Okay, so now we're going to look at our <clears throat> our picture, and I just put it on here to see how far I needed to cut it so it will go in and out without, so it looks like I just need to do a little bit on each side of that white line. So let me pull this back over, and then we will... Do a little bit on each side of the white line, and then we'll put it, I'm going to round the corners, and then we'll put it in here and see if this is going to slide in and out, because that way when you put it on your, on your, um, the page, you still have room to put something else behind there if you want to. So, let me go ahead and round my edges, because that's looking like it's feeling just fine. <clears throat> oh. All right. So 
let's just ink around here. And on the bottom. I know I hadn't changed my thing. I'm being cheap. I'm going to use this to, to the end. Oh, gosh. I'm about to end myself. Let me close this up. Okay. So now. Go around here. And I printed this on 45-pound paper. Okay. And then I just went ahead and on here, this, I just used my little whale tail punch. Uh oh, where'd I put it? Oh, and these are from some, some car stuff I got marked down at Hobby Lobby back in May of 2019. But I mean, you know, for $2.50, I mean, come on, I couldn't pass this pad up. So I just figured that this would go with it, um, with what I'm working on. So that's why I went with this, the shade with the little blue, dusty dusty blue periwinkle-ish color. Oh, let me do a little inside just in case it shows. But yep. And then we will just glue this on here. Which side? I think I like that side better for the front. And then, like I said, once we put it in to a journal, then we'll we'll know what what to decorate on the front. And we might put a little word or something on here. I don't know. But let me slide this in just so I can see where my middle is on my card. So it's going to be centered on there. And that's taking one of these envelopes, pockets, I'm bad, and turn it into a two-piece pocket instead of losing your design. I know. So there's that one. Where's my other one? Oh, over here. I got it upside down. Because I'm a dummy like that. Yay, yay. Oh. <coughs> <clears throat> Probably gonna have to go drink some hot tea. That crazy dog. She's injured me. Alright. So come on, work with my little fingers. Let's um oh, let's pay attention. <laughs> do as I <coughs> as I do, not as I say. Or vice versa. And then we'll trim this around. Punch your little hole. All right. <clears throat> and then angle our edges. Or should that be miter our corners? I know my trash can can is clean, so I I scooped them and put them in my trash can. I know. You just never know. Sometimes it happens, <laughs> but most of the time I throw it on the floor and sweep it up. It's just so much easier. It's just because I always have a bin sitting on my trash can, so my trash can the my trash can mouth isn't all the way open all the time, so I can't get to it. So that's why I just throw it on the floor and sweep it up. All right, so let's ink around here. You know, and then sometimes on these, well, you can't really... When, um, when I have made them like this and folded it um, I just make it a hinge and uh, so that way you can see the back because I mean see now now I got to get rid of some of this and do I want it to go no I don't want it to go that way 
All right, so let's cut on the inside of our white line, but I want the BFFF is BPF to show. And then let's see if this is gonna be enough to go in and out. And the answer is yes, it is. Okay, let's round our corners again. around it oh and well I guess I'll oh I gotta write something down and, and share it another day because I'm not prepared for it today <coughs> I know I'm horrible it's all Molly's fault. <sighs> Crazy dog. You know, of course, I'm out there screaming and yelling for her. All the cats come home because they're all out, you know, doing their night hunt. And they're like, oh, Mama's calling me. You know, because I'm out there, you know, Molly, clap, 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 come on. Just, you know, screaming all her little names and stuff. And all the cats come running up. You, you called, you rang. I'm like, no, your name's not Molly, but you know, it does sound like Kitty. <laughs> so, oh, but I mean, even Black, you walked down there with John and, you know, walked up half the hill, just do, 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 because she thinks she's a dog. I mean, she just, she goes everywhere and you can, you know, c you know, call for her and she'll come running. I'm telling you all the way from across wherever she's hunting or whatever she's doing, she, she runs up there. If you if you call for her, her and Bear. Now, Lily Kitty, she's a typical cat. Oh. When she wants to, she does. But she's one that has attitude. <laughs> All right. And there's this little one that we'll glue down. And like I said, we'll um, decorate it and do something else on there um, to the top. We might put a label. We might put a dangle. I don't know. I got to see where I'm going to put them. So these are the three that we did, that we made from the pockets that I turned into journal card and pocket. And then this one is the double tuck, double side tuck insert. So. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I know, but it's some quick and easy stuff, especially for, you know, beginners or, you know, if you have these things and, and you're just like, well, what do I do with them? Well, chop them up. <laughs> you know, I rarely use things the way people have designed them and intended to. All right. Well, um, thanks for watching. I hope um, this gave you, gave you a little inspiration. And um, like I said... We will decorate this when we put it in the journal that it's going to go in. And the same thing once I put this in the journal that I've I've got planned coming up for it. And um, we will get working on that after I get... Oh, i got to remember to bring this upstairs so I can put this on the video. So in case y'all are curious about these. And I will see y'all in the next video. So um, like I said, thanks for watching. Thanks for, thanks for your comments. They mean the world. Um, I do appreciate that you take a little bit of time out of your day and, and say something and say hey. And um, welcome to the new um, subscribers. I've got a couple new ones. And um, thank y'all for, for watching and thanks for subscribing. And I, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you find some stuff that's listed in the videos that, that will inspire you and help you create something. And um, Or, you know, you could see it and, and go, oh, I think I could a twist on that. Well, put your twist on there and let us know. And we will see you on the next video. So y'all have a great day and a blessed day. Here's lots of kisses, lots of love, and I'll see y'all next one. Bye, guys.